Great. I mean, obviously, playing on beautiful grass fields and um, you know, the weather was fantastic and the conditions, the field conditions were great. And I think it's just being nice to be away with each other and eating together and you know hanging out together and you know the girls were by the pool and then they were eating you know and then they were going to Starbucks together and then they're playing and I think just all that time is good. I mean, pre-season and normally together a lot because we've got two a days and stuff. But I think Tucson's a special place for us and uh, they treat us unbelievably well and. They act like kings and queens down there, so I think they're well fed and well prepared, ready to go again. On the field, uh, got two good results. Yeah. How did you, did the team play as you wanted them to? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's building blocks, uh, small increments each day, and uh, I think both games gave us a little bit different issues. The, the first game was physical, two some were physical, uh, WPSL team, but it was good to get that kind of, they got into us a little bit, and they rattled us a little bit, I think, in the midfield area, and, so, and, and it got the best out of us, I thought. We played really well. and great combinations in the midfield um, we didn't give too much away which was nice we haven't really given too much away uh, yet and then the young the young one uh, Arizona he were very at the weekend they were quick um, and we I thought we played really well in the Arizona game but we were given time and space a little bit more time and space but they were much better than last year much fitter than last year um, and it was good for us and I think at the end of the day you know obviously uh, the group were able to play 60 minutes and we're probably around 60 to 70 minutes fit as a group uh, fitness level is better than last year there's no question and it makes preparation a little bit easier for more and we haven't really done a lot of fitness it's been working really on certain things that we need and putting the building blocks in i think the foundation's built and the first four's going on now you know and the players have been fantastic you know, including the amateur players that have come with us and been train training with us have been really good so that's helped us and you know the one thing about the group is the they brought these other players in and they've welcomed them. It's not been like all oh, you and us, it's been us all together. So that's, that's a plus time. Under yeah. two weeks to go now before the season opener. What, what are you focusing on? What do you want to see from your group in those now under two weeks? Well, I think it's just about the formation now and get, making sure we can play a couple of different formations, completely lock, stock and barrel back to front. Um, you know, again, we're missing obviously players that will be here opening day. Uh, so we're going back through things the week after. But, you know, it's later in the week, it'll be down to, to the small things like set pieces and little things like that. Um, because most of the other stuff's been covered and you know, still working with the back line in terms of organisation, still working with the back line with uh, their relationship with the midfield or at least the holding players in the midfield. You know, working in the final third, penetration wide, penetration through the middle, all the little things I think that all good teams can do and you know, we want to be unpredictable and that's really what we've been working on and uh, the attitude of the players has been fabulous. And, you know, I'm really happy where we are. We're certainly sitting a lot better than we were last year at this point just because we're We've just been together, the whole group that's going to be you know, basically here opening day. I think there's the three US players, other than that, everybody's here already. So, um, you know, Jody came in for two weeks, which was a huge help. She got to know everybody, got to know the system, the philosophy, and uh, she's excited to come. And she can score goals, and she'll score goals for us, I think. You mentioned uh, the amateur players. Uh, it looked like you had some different players in Tucson than maybe before. Have you made some more cuts, added some new players? Yeah, we're just still looking at players, to be honest with you. I think there's still a, a couple of openings here that, where players can get in and, and do a job for us. You know, We have nine missing through, this, through the World Cup campaign, which is a lot of players to be missing. So there's opportunities for players to come up. And I think a lot of players who've maybe been at other uh, clubs have realised the opportunity maybe is, is, is better here than it was at the other clubs. So uh, they've come in here and we've got a couple of new ones today that we're looking at and um, just you know we're still looking for a couple of pieces I think just to help out and give us some depth in certain areas and that's really what I'm looking for. You mentioned uh, the US players coming in um, is it going to be weird if uh, or how are you going to kind of how do you adjust to having maybe players come in right before the season? Well it's never easy obviously but the one thing is I've had them for a year already so it's not like last year it was they were coming in for the first time and I never coached Sinclair before and I never coached Rachel before and never coached Alex before now they're coming in they've already been with me for a year and I, and I think the group's a little bit stronger I think they got a, you know they've been here a year people like uh, Emily Menges and Courtney and uh, Sinead and they were players that I brought with me so I think that they'll that they feel a little bit more comfortable this year so I think for players coming back they'll, they'll come into a comfortable environment and they know what to expect they know training is going to be difficult and hard and, um, and I'm excited to get them all back I mean obviously uh, when we get everybody in we'll have a good team and until that point uh, you know we, the group that's been here has worked hard they got themselves fit fitter than I can only imagine I didn't think they would be this fit at this point and giving ourselves a chance to get some points uh, no matter who's in the lineup. I've asked you a decent amount about you know the stability of the NWSL mm -hmm. um, and past leagues and um, there's been a number of retirements in this offseason of some young players um, do you see 
obviously kind of is designed to maybe have lower salaries, less spending to be more sustainable. But do you see a future where the players are going to be making salaries, hopefully, that not as many um, are going to be retired? You're talking to the choir with me, you know, I mean, I think I've made my statements pretty well known. That I think the cap should be higher. I think it's only a matter of time where it should become higher for these younger players coming in. And I think there needs to be a you know second year player compared to a first year player and improvement and if they're playing games. And I think one of the one of the issues with a lot of the players is they played one year and they're not willing to do it a second year. And I think some of the clubs are holding them to those contracts. And you know I think you got to give what they've done. If the Emily Menges comes in and does well and she plays 16, 18 games and she deserves to get more than probably the league minimum is to improve it. You know you need to give them a little bit more money. And I think it's always a, a tricky one between balance. And I'm not an owner of a team. I'm a coach of a team. So. Uh, you'd have to ask the owners this, but in, in, in maintaining the league, which is obviously being fiscal responsible, I coached in WPS where there was no fiscal responsibility whatsoever, and the team that spent the most money usually won the league, and that actually happened in the two years uh, the, the league happened. The, the team that spent the most money won the league, and now it's a little bit different. Um, I think the team's a lot more even, it's a bit more like MLS, I think it's a lot more... Uh, uh, parity in, in the group but we need to give these players something to play for there needs to be a minimum monthly for me that they can live on and that they can make a career of it for five six eight years because to lose this many young players doesn't make any sense and they're good players um, you know so I'm hoping some more of them stay in and you know hope that the league like improves the foreign limit and I hope they improves the the, the uh, the pre seasons and I hope they improve the wages for the players that'll be three big pluses for us Thanks, Paul. Thanks, Paul.